has a bit of a reputation in the sustainability field. So when in 2007, a group of colleges and universities across the country were getting together and thinking about creating this president's climate commitment to address climate change, our president was involved with those conversations and was a charter signatory in 2007, which then launched us on um, the journey that we've taken to achieve climate neutrality in 2020. So we spent over a decade just focusing on reducing our overall carbon footprint. So we did that through a number of different ways. We reduced our water consumption by 30%, our paper consumption by 40%. We um, reduced, well, we improved our efficiency per square footage from a natural gas and electricity standpoint by nearly 20%. And all of that effort overall reduced our um, carbon footprint by nearly 50%. We changed the way we purchased our electricity. So now instead of purchasing from the Northwest Pennsylvania electric grid, which can be very heavy in coal and natural gas, we now purchase from wind generated sources. So that helps to reduce our overall carbon footprint and it supports a renewable industry. Knowing that there is a benefit to this, not just globally, but to us for enrollment issues. We have this environmental science and sustainability department, a global health program, all of these interdisciplinary programs that attract students who want to change the world and want to be at a place that is upholding values of sustainability and has achieved climate neutrality, that took a bold stance and stuck with it. Students have a um, major role in creating our culture of sustainability on campus, so we've had to create a lot of programs alongside students that help minimize waste, that um, encourage more responsible habits, and that's been really effective at transforming the culture on campus and driving the momentum of the decision makers at the top because they see students modeling the, the work that we're doing daily we're not doing it for any awards, right? We're doing this because we really believe this is the right thing to do. Our students believe this is the right thing to do. And if we've been a college that has been around for over 200 years, in reality, if we want to be around for another 200 years, we need to model how to deal with climate change. Otherwise, we won't last another 200. We think about it carefully because it does have impact. We're always thinking about the next 200 years.